This short tutorial will cover creating a basket in your acquisition module to start adding items to order. You're going to go over to the acquisition module and the first part of the acquisition process will be telling Koha what vendor you have ordered items from. So you have the option to search your vendors, type in your vendors, um, hit the blank search, you'll, you'll find all the vendors that are in your system. You can see here, I brought up a vendor, Fables Books. I can see any existing baskets that are created. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a new basket. This allows me to add a basket name, um, write any notes on maybe why I'm creating this basket, a vendor note if I talk to the vendor. Let's do If this order is standing, so if this is something that I'm receiving once every month, once every year, I could create a standing order. Um, we're not going to talk about this here, but we do have a tutorial video on standing orders also. Finally, we're going to say whether we are going to create items at the time of the basket creation, also known as placing the order, or are we going to hold off on creating those items until possibly receiving the order or cataloging the record? So this depends on your workflow at your library, when you would like to start adding item information to the existing order. I'm going to use my default place in an order. Once I hit save, then I've created a basket and at this point I'm able to go ahead and add to the basket. So let's go ahead and add to the basket. We have some options here. I can um, order from a existing record, something already in my catalog, from a purchase suggestion. But let's go ahead and do something from a external source, which means I'm going to reach out to my Z39.50, grab a record from that Z39.50 target and start the actual cataloging process now. Okay, so I can go ahead and search any targets, pick and choose which targets I want to use. Then I'm going to go ahead and maybe type in a title and do that search. So this is something maybe you're familiar with the cataloging module. You could use the Z39.50 to catalog an item into your system. We're getting a head start here. We're going to grab a, um, a full record. And over here, I have the option to look at that mark record to make sure that's the exact one I want to order or go ahead and place that order. This is a good one. We actually already have a record that matches this. So we could go ahead and look at this actual record in the system. We could use this, meaning we don't create a duplicate one. We could go ahead and cancel and go back and say, oops, we shouldn't probably order this when we already have this. Or we can go ahead and create a new record, which would mean I'd have a second record in my system. So let's go ahead and hit cancel and let's grab another one. Again, we're going to go right out there and do a um, Z39.50 search, place that order. Didn't get an error, so that's good. We already don't have that already in our system. If I wanted to add a user at this time to notify upon receipt of this, I could go ahead and add a user. I'm just going to search my Koha database for a patron name. Gives me a bit of a record. And then, as I said, we were going to create the item at time of placing the order. So this is all the item fields that I could create at this time. I'm going to go ahead and bypass this. My acquisition framework is set to have it um, be in the ordered status. I'm going to go ahead and add that item, which will populate my quantity to one. I'm going to go ahead and select my fund that I want to encumber those funds. Add a vendor price. Maybe I got a discount on that. You could see my um, 
the fields below will get populated depending on um, the vendor price, taxes, discounts. If I did want to change my replacement costs, I could do so there. Internal notes, vendor notes. Internal notes are great. So um, this will stay, this note will stay with this item. Um, through into Koha, past the acquisition module, so it's super helpful. I also have statistics built into my adult print material um, fund, and this is going to go by collections. So I've gone ahead and tied those together. So I could go ahead and add a specific area collection that I want to track where I'm buying the material and where it's going to live in my library. Go ahead and hit save. Now you can see we're at the basket we created back to school. I can see the order I placed, the cost, the fund. I can see my internal note. Let's pop over to this record into my Koha system and see what we're going to see. So you can see I do have a um, my record from the Z39.50. <clears throat> I have the status as ordered. And then I have some acquisition details. It will tell me the vendor, the basket I ordered it from, when I created this record, and that internal note. So super helpful. Okay, so that's how we created a basket and added something from the Z39.50 target.